Hey there everyone, this is El Cowbling ASMT and the goal today is to finish World 5! There's only two levels, there's a cave here and there's a castle there. I it idiot's eyes. It's a reference to a Toho. You can tell because of the music too. Oh man, bubble the guys. Don't even get a one up at the end, but that's fine. Man, so Cherno's like math class, whatever it's called, has been the gateway to Toho things. Like in terms of like ancient internet stuff, it's been the gateway to some kind of uh, uh, Toho things for a lot of people. I know it was one of my first exposure, not the first one. Wow, look. Mario games are very hard, alright? You gotta, like, press buttons and stuff. It's real weird. I'm invincible now! Here we go, I'm Mr. Fire Guy, so I might not get the life at the end, but I suppose that's okay. No way, no how. I've got plenty as it is. Do a little jump, because I really could use, like, some of the lives a little bit. So, okay, I mean, a little bit of lives. Didn't get shot at, you know? It's a big old cannon. It's very scary, yo, oh, and you can have this feather, maybe. If you let the out of the spaghetti roll over your soul and mine. Check it out, I just slide, and then I'm gonna bop this guy. Whoa, Charlie in the sky. This guy is as a blue armed guy. Oh man, look at that, I'm sliding down the hill. I'm gonna jump on this head and send a bill. There we go, just a little level that you can follow, and then you go down to sleep and everything plays itself. It's fun though, like, you can have levels that are relatively simple that are still fun. It hits that fun button that I just cannot really understand beyond, there's just something about it, there's an energy behind it. But this is probably gonna be today's main event, I don't, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Castle goes up and down, it's a castle, it goes up. And down, like that thwomp. Yeah, so this is this level's main thing is the sweet elevators that go at the speed of an elephant slowly falling asleep at a William Tell concert. It's, uh, it's a good time. I don't know what I want to do here. Like, clearly, I want to go somewhere in there. Like, okay, so let's see here. You can do that. You make the elevator go back up. Like, I removed all the mice, so everything is safe. And the strange glue slimes, they go to bed. Alright, then you go and take the elevator. Oh no, you got pointy ears. I can't believe you would do such a thing. Yeah, this is a Super Marissa World remix. Dang it! I walked too fast. Right into the spike. Like, this is. Considering that these spikes have square hitboxes, I believe, uh, and they're really not. Like, there's not a whole lot of left. They're pretty mean. And look at that, it's pencils. That's how I call wooden stakes. They've been changed literally. Alright, uh, dang it. I don't know why I jumped like I wasn't in a tunnel, but I did. <laughs> Wait a second, I might have pressed that at a terrible time. Yeah, no, uh, I just killed myself. The P-switch is not gonna respawn, and, uh, yeah, I'm just dead. I just spent so much time doing absolutely nothing. It's weird. And that guy, like, he's supposed to be a hindrance, but he's just stuck in a block? Ah, shit. It is a level that requires patience. I don't remember it being like bad or anything, but like it, it <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so here we don't want to get yeah, so there you go. Here you're safe like that. It's a very precise level. Whether or not that's your jam is personal. Like, see, like, I think that overall is pretty rad. It's just that, uh, I don't know. Again, 
level kind of loads in such a way where most of the en enemy forces are not able to do much of anything. And here's the puzzle part of the level, I guess. I might be stuck here. I don't know much of anything. I guess you can do that and get to go down from here. Is that something you want, though? Yeah, you can get that P like that. Like, I still don't know what I want. I certainly can't go there. But I can go here and maybe destroy other things with my face. Maybe, oh, I got a shell. There's a lock there, but there's no secret exit. It's a joke. I don't know what I'm doing. I believe it's possible to get soft lock, so be careful. What am I looking for? Anyways, looking for that. Silver P. That's right. I don't know if I'm gonna need the shell anymore. I don't think so. Alright, get out of here, shell. I don't want you in my foot. Alright, don't go in people's feet if you can help, but that is the only thing that I will say. Yeah, your goal is that red door there. Like, it's very hard to guess that, I'm aware. Oh, there's a three up. If you're into that. I mean, personally, I maybe could use a but it's fine. Alright, check it out. I'm going to take that right down there. Alright, you do that, and I whoosh. Like, there was a second of me that was like, I don't know, and I feel like that, like, I don't understand what that text there is supposed to mean. Why would Demo recognize in the back of her precipice of her mind, Rumia, and thus, Kalioka was invented to kind of address that strange little aspect. Anyways, it's Rumia, and it's a very, very well-made fight. Uh, back the version I played back in the day, I'm supposed to, like, throw something at her and not jump on her. Uh, the backgrounds were moving, like, all the clouds were on layers and swooshing around, and it was extremely, like, just, like... Absolutely amazing, and I feel like losing that removes a lot of the theatrics of the appearance of this battle, but I believe it was done for purely, like, it's that or the game's not gonna work good, like, matters, so, like, I understand. It's always plus, then an X, then here, wow, I was in exactly the last place you wanted to be when I made that decision. Now it's gonna be shells again. Shells are scary. Alright. The pattern does not change for now. It will somehow... You can see her hits down there, below the floor. Like, you don't get that look... Did I kill myself? No, nope. but almost. Like, I shouldn't stay in this corner? Like, that's why I got hurt that one time. It's because I'm not moving from this corner. Apparently, I haven't learn anything. Alright, now things are gonna change, though. This is where I get scared because there's her ability to make the world dark. You can see her feeties. Um, at the bottom. Use that to your advantage. Also, Rumia is just kind of chucking her projectiles pretty randomly. Use that to your advantage. Yay! Wow, I did not expect the first try shot. I did not expect that at all. I was ready to have issues, but turns out, yeah, no, she's a lot more straightforward than you'd think. Still scary, though, like, but, you know, you can see your feet just move around a lot, and you'll know where they're gonna be, it's fine. Oh, the TNT doesn't work, and someone painted the ceiling of the cave peach colored. I mean, that looks pretty- Oh, look at that blown up demographic. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad, you never see it, basically. Uh, yeah, yeah, odor eating foot powder, that's the punchline. I don't really get it. Demo's known for eating scents. Go away, Hill. Gotta make my way here. Well, this took, like, a fraction of the time that I thought it would take, so let's go ahead and do the first part of World 6. Here we go. Check it out, here we go. Another amazing song. Oh, oh, it's at level. I guess I'll go and do it, although I don't know if I want to. And Nico and Carl. 
Uh, you'll remember what that is as soon as it starts. That's right. It's that level. It's that level. This is where we are now. I mean, we're gonna have to do it eventually. Maybe it won't be that bad. Now that I, like, know probably a lot of the... But, like, it's not just the, the puzzles and whatnot. It's that it is also genuinely a pretty difficult level. I reckon. Anyways, um, I can't do that because you need to be able to destroy that. So send help with Paw Prince. Paw, oh my prince! Can you just kind of slide in there and not redo everything? You sure can, but someone is begging for help indeed. Gonna try and do this jump. I went ahead and did this jump. Oh man, look at that. I think the... Ah, and of course you didn't jump here. Sweet ice physics for you and me. This song is so good. So yeah, that's a semi-solid one-way platform, by the way. Ah, well, I can't start select out of a level I haven't beaten yet. I did it! I pressed the button in time. Wowie, zowful. Like, do you need both of them? Like, I'm trying to remember the level, and I think you do... And you use that to get the other one? Eh. Just feels so bad, though. Alright, so just use that to kick you. Alright, now I have two bombs. See, Toho. Bombs are circles with a green bee on them. Ah! Tab out! This jump! This jump! Just this jump! This is a terrible jump! And it's just there, all casual, pretending it's not, like, weirdly super hard. Obviously, you need to do that, so you can hang out here. Okay, and then when that turns into... But you kind of have to, like, do that a little bit. Because that'll turn into things you can operate on, and then you need to use the second B here. Yeah, they're B's instead of P's. That changes the whole alphabet. Here we got fun time bouncing tofu man, and you get people shouting for help in the meanwhile. And this is made so that this, like the 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 P switch counter, you know, it uh it it doesn't go, it doesn't fluctuate while you're bouncing it up like an astronaut, making the wait longer. Unless you can like sneak out like I did. All right, here we go. This Charlie. You know what, I can just take the hit, but I don't even need to. Well, I'm surprised by that. You know what, I will just take the hit. It's just, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth the fight. Alright, here you gotta go underneath these. These are traps. When you press one of those telephones, like, you bop downward with a force. Of a thousand marines. So, you gotta be careful. There's ice everywhere here. Whoosh, terror took off that giant bone. It's gonna remind me of the concept of bones. I think there's a power up here. Well, not a lot of these. But here we go! Check it out. We're somewhere now. I can't count. Help me now. I'm gonna bop my head on a telephone. Instead of ringing, it screams for help. What else would it do? We go through a green pipe somewhere. Oh, the music changes. I wonder what that could mean. I don't know. Frogmine! You can't not have her, so that means I can. There's now a way you can beat by now! There you go. Get out of here, Cherno. You're tiny. Rumia was my size, but you are significantly smaller. But you are also a fairy, so I guess that might make sense. Isn't there, like, a midpoint? There it is. 
There we go. Hey, we reached the middle of this level. Foe. Check it out. I'm so... Like, there's gifts here. I don't know if they're worth that. Let's check it out. Well, maybe? Like, you followed a pattern? But that's a one-up. That's not a power-up. Like, I appreciate a one-up. It's not what I would want, though. Alright, well, here we go. Giant, like, whoa. Like, we've got, we got, like, a monster's, like, whoa. Like, cra gravity bone here. Ah! Also known as the ribcage. I don't know I'm struggling with ice a lot today. It's like, I, I, I always just slip off on ice sometimes. Okay, so you respawn in this little basement. I'm glad it exists. It reminds me of different basements I've entered. And yeah, no power-ups. I'm gonna go ahead and get me one. My P is upside down up there in my square. So, it's very important that I don't fry her because she needs to exist later in the level. But there, if you try to jump on her, that happens. She throws, like, that ice cube right at a time, and you just get bopped. I don't know. This does not feel like a level that is meant to have, like, a big focus on Lakitu. Alright, what happened last time? Ah, dude. Clearly designed with you being small. I- again! I- it does- <sighs> Actually, jump. Why not jump? Whoa, I can now progress. Oh man, that's pretty swell. And somehow, those tiny little ribbons sticking out of the pipe are the most deadly force in the universe. I hate this place! Like, and I, now I'm a. Yeah, and that guy can just appear out of nowhere. It's like, SURPRISE! I'm the Killer Ice! Identical to the not Killer Ice! SURPRISE! Okay, is there gonna be more? I don't know. Yes, there is actually, but- uh, DUDE! JUST JUMP! SOMETHING! I did it. I made it here. Wow. Alright, but if fun don't stop, we got just like this row of ice. Have fun. Like, uh, and I... Alright, this time Cherno didn't spawn. And this time, uh... Like, I got there a lot earlier, and I could use this little, like, sky cavity there. There's ice. That is pretty swell. Hell pop, and then what the hell. So here I need to go and get, yeah, that Galoomba. That I need to maintain and keep alive while it will constantly threaten to wake up on me and kill me. Meanwhile, there's a gazillion things I want to kill you here. Good times, so here's a springboard that I believe you need to do something. Yeah, and here's another springboard, because we're gonna be juggling both of them. Huh? One day I will grab onto it, maybe. That is my greatest birthday. Alright, here we go. Yeah, because we're gonna need one to get back up there. And you're gonna need that to get back up here. Now to get killed here. Oh, she didn't spawn a little ice this time. Oh, that's pretty nice. This time you did, though. And I died. Wow. Fun. Okay, putting it here might be better, but then I don't know if I'll be able to go back up easily. Yeah. I... Did I get myself stuck? Will I be able to use that? Like, can I do that? I forget. I think it's kicking up resets them, right? It's been a while. 
Oh, but I can pick them back up. Uh, no, wait, I, I forgot how to keep them asleep. It's been too long. Great, fantastic, good. Alright, I'm just gonna leave him here. Let him wake up. Cause, you know, I, I just completely forgot. If it's kicking upward or kicking sideways that resets your sleeping. I, I just outright do not remember. A little embarrassing having forgotten such an important part of like advanced Mario knowledge, but here we are. Like, I think you're supposed to like. I'm just gonna wake up. Uh, matters. Oh, there's a okay. I did make it work. Yeah, I thought I remembered. Like, there's the mushroom on top of that tofu. There we go. This half's like only power up. Take good care of it. Level isn't over. But yeah, and then you see just how everything is so uncomfortable, like in terms of jump. Like, it was not designed with the thought that you would try to do this big. And I need to chuck something eternal to steal the cloud. Easier said than done. There you go. Dang it, why'd I jump? Uh... Still good. It's gonna slowly drift down here. I'll be able to... there we go. Hopefully it lasts. Also, I believe where there's coins, the cloud might drift. Okay, just long enough. Alright, here we go. So see, that's why you can't just burn Cherno at the start of the level, because you need to borrow our cloud, and then here you just zap through the wall and die. Oh, oh! Good times are had by all. What? Sweet. Follow those charms. I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, ice falls from there. It's great. Cool moves. By the Saints of Loyalty clubs don't get trapped in that trap zone, please. That's a reset pipe. Even if you don't want to reset, I forget how far it brings you. I just don't know. Here's the big ice maze. It's a nice maze. It's made of ice. Oh. No. Yep. Yep. Things kind of happen. Internal town. Just wait until the ice falls before you just jump. Like, that's, you know, just what you should do. I know, yeah. And the level's not over after that. Like, this level just does not end. It's truly the essence of a Talk House production. Okay, there it worked. Uh-huh, help Poppin', by the way. Ooh, did you see that help Poppin'? Oh, oh shoot, well, okay, I want you. I spell there, but it will not hurt anyone, at least in theory. And then you climb here, and you look at this shape, and you're like, what? Oh, you could maybe do that with a full sprint. Hmm. I think the idea is that you're supposed to bounce on Cherno the Cloud Owner. So, I guess I'll wait for her to appear? Like, jumping on a cloud like a two is not something you see often, but there might be a reason for that. Like, when is she gonna appear? Like, I bopped on her, I did not steal her cloud, she will respond. Or you can just do that! Alright, here's, like, the best joke. Like, this is the goal, but it was frozen over. Yeah, that's a generator. Okay. And here is circle nine. Or at least a really big nine. Let's freeze our Yoshi some frozen products. It won't 
make him grow fat and large. I like to pretend, at the very least. Just big chunk and ice cubes, delicious for your stomach. Ugh, then you can run in all the baby Yoshis. No, adult Yoshis are way into just stepping all over their young. That's not all? Yes, that's all. That's just to scare you, I guess. I don't know if that's why it's there, but it sure scared me. I have like a bazillion sprites here for some reason. Okay, that was a lot less than I remembered. Oh boy, this level! Um, way more of a thing than I thought I remembered it being. Uh, that wasn't an extremely pleasant experience, but it's done. And then the next level's by me, so you know you're in for a good time. <laughs> World sex! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.